one guy, one day, for a makeover like no other. This is Restyled, and on today's Restyled, episode three, we've got Brandon. He's a 24-year-old pharmacist from Stoke-on-Trent in the North of England, and he's come down here for a new haircut, fragrance, skincare, and a new outfit. Brandon, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. You are most welcome. I'm very excited to have you here. We're coming into spring, mm -hmm. although the weather is a little dodgy today. And I wanted to get you set with a new haircut. Mm -hmm. We're also going to get some skincare for you. Yep. And this video is in partnership with Beauty Pie. And I've got all the products from there. A really great routine that's been created for your specific skin type. Also for people watching at home. Hello. I have a really great deal for you. You're going to be able to get some money off all of these products. Then we're going to look at some style and then we're going to do some fragrance and really get a fragrance that really does represent you. But up first, we've got the hair. So Ben is who cuts my hair mm -hmm. and you are in very good hands with him. Yeah. What are you thinking for your hair? So as I mentioned um, previously, uh, I've not switched up that often uh, and I've, I've sort of like been considering potentially a fade. However, I'm okay. always a little bit worried that might uh, look a little bit too... I don't know, sort of the same as a lot of what you see nowadays. I'm not sure if it would suit my uh, face. Your style, okay. Uh, I do enjoy like, um, I mean, I I've always got teased about this, but uh, I, I wish I had hair like uh, Alex Turner of the Arts. Okay, movie. very good. He he'd be a bit of a fashion icon for yeah. me. Uh, although I don't think I have uh, quite the hair of his. Well, we can certainly play with it and Ben is the right person to be going to for this. Absolutely. <laughs> For the cut, we're back at Murdoch London with head barber Ben Valls. Now, this haircut is all about bringing some shape back into Brandon's hair, keeping it sharp on the sides and leaving the length on top. Ben goes for a three back and sides to keep the style just that little more classic. He's really tapered it out at the back of the head and into the neck to add some much needed definition. And it's always good to remember that keeping it tighter on the back and sides will make that top look even longer. Now to keep the illusion of length, Ben cuts shorter at the crown, leaving it longer at the fringe. Now this will help to keep that elevation at the front and will give loads of volume into the styling. Into the styling, Ben starts with a few sprays of sea salt spray. He then uses a vent brush and a hairdryer, working volume into the front of the hair, teasing the hair up and gently pulling back. Now this combination of movement plus the salt spray will give the hair loads of texture. He then works in just a little styling putty to really define and add some movement, especially around the back and sides. And boom, a freshly quaffed Brandon ready to take on the world. And with a fresh new cut and style, it's back to the apartment to get that skincare routine sorted. No, your hair looks incredible. Cheers, thank you. Yeah, I love it. It's so nice and tight at the sides, but it still gives me that um, uh, effortlessness to play around with at the top. So yeah, I'm on sure. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing what a haircut can do. And moving from your hair to your skincare, um, do you have a skincare routine? Um, I have bits and bobs. Um, I've tried to use a face oil recently just because I've noticed uh, my skin tends to dry out, especially throughout the day. Uh, but I'm still having issues with that. And like, if I use too much face oil, ends up going uh, a few blackheads. And I say we're getting into like spring, summer as well. Definitely want to make sure that I'm protecting my skin a bit more as well. I've never been too good with SPFs in the past. Okay, well, you have come to the right place. Restyled will sort you out. And I have a full six step routine for you. I've crafted this especially around you having dry skin. This is Beauty Pie. Okay. Beauty Pie have a membership which basically allows you to get luxury beauty and wellness products at lab pricing. They basically cut out the middlemen and we then get these amazing products at such fantastic prices. So I've created a six step skincare routine for you. Step one is cleansing. Now I've chosen this gentle foamy facial wash. Now this is a light lather to refresh and re-energize but without stripping the skin. 
It's a gentle foaming wash infused with natural vitamin C, smoothing pyrus malice, which is apple, and antioxidant raspberry extracts. Step two is toning. Now this is the Jeju Rehydration Mist. A personal favorite of mine, this includes hydrating hyaluronic acid, which is a great option for Brandon to keep his dry skin in check. Step three is a serum. Now I've chosen the Jeju Stem Cell Moisture Shot. Infused with aloe vera, this is a lightweight serum to fight oxidation, dehydration, and inflammation. You'll see on the Beauty Pie website, there are actually two prices. As a guest, this one retails for 75 pounds, but by signing up to join Beauty Pie, you'll get all their products at a reduced rate. This one for members is 13 pounds 84. Use code MFHSETME for £10 off your annual plus membership, all linked below. And there you go, look at that instant glow. Now, step four is an eye cream. And another personal favourite of mine, this is the Pure Ceramides Elastic Boost Eye Moisture Cream. With puffiness reducing roller balls, seriously keep it in the fridge, it's incredible. This super serum increases hydration and elasticity. You'll also see on the Beauty by website that there are flags next to the products. Now, this shows where they've been made. Beauty by products are manufactured in the world's best beauty labs. Those same labs that are used by the super prestige brands in Switzerland, Japan, Korea, Italy, and more. But unlike those other brands, Beauty by have got rid of that huge product markup when you sign up to their membership. Step five is a moisturizer. Now for Brandon, I've selected the Chi Energy Ginseng Root and Ginger Super Moisture Cream. Now this moisturizer is packed full of wonder ingredients to not only hydrate the skin, but to also minimize age-related skin damage. Now a key ingredient of this one is ginseng extract, which is particularly good to help even skin tone by reducing the appearance of blotchiness and redness. And again, this one is a real bargain at a member price of £14.57, as opposed to a typical price of £40. Step six is an SPF. Now I really wanted to get Brandon set with an SPF that doesn't sit heavy or feel greasy. So this is the perfect option for him and also one that I've been using. It's really light, an SPF 50, broad spectrum, so UVA and UVB. Now the lightweight formula is non-comedogenic, which means it should not clog the pores, which really can be a huge cause of spots. Protection without the payoff. There really is something for everyone on Beauty Pie. They have an incredible range of makeup, high-tech skincare, beauty accessories, fine fragrances, hair care, body care, candles, nutritional supplements, and gifts. So be sure to check them out. There we go. How are you feeling? I feel um, re-energized, feel really good, yeah. Yeah, your skin looks bright. Mm. Looks really clear. Mm. Any favorite products? Do you know what? I really like all of them, uh, but I'd probably say I really like the rehydration mist. Not tried anything like that before. It's uh, It just feels like a breath of fresh air, really yeah. fresh. Um, and I would say the cream as well. Like it's, it's very light. I've had creams in the past mm -hmm. where it just feels a bit weighty. So yeah, definitely those two probably stand out. Uh, and then I also will definitely be using an SPF a little bit more often, I think. Make sure I don't uh, burn too much in the in the sun when there is any. Good to hear, and that should be absolutely every single day. Autumn, winter, spring, summer, all round. Thank you. Okay. Right. Welcome to Beyond Retro in Bethnal Green. It's a big place. Uh, looks right up my street. Yeah, this place is very exciting, I should say. Now, I'm going to be finding you a special outfit to wear and it's going to be a bit of a task for me because this place is absolutely massive. Mm. While I'm looking, is there like anything that you specifically like or things to avoid? Um, so I'd say as I've matured a little bit more, I prefer that sort of, um, I'd say like Americana style a little okay. bit where it's more about like the cut and it's all almost effortless at the same time. Like I always uh, like the look of like James Dean where he kept it so simple, yeah. but like it just worked because it just fitted in perfect and you just feel just good wearing what you are wearing. So Okay, that's a very good brief and I feel like it's pretty clear for me. We're going to go for the Americana, mm -hmm. the classic styles, a bit of James Dean and maybe a few a few rogue pieces that I'm gonna pop in there. <laughs> okay, leave it with me. Okay. I love these sorts of shops because you can find just the absolute best gems. I have Brandon sizes and I also wanna push him into a different sort of zone. You know, he's got this comfort zone of what he likes, but I do wanna put in just a couple of rogue pieces. Okay, these are a 10. Brandon did say it was a nine and a half, so I'm gonna try these. A little Americana, little resort vibe. I think we can go big on the denim in here. 
and these sort of Hawaiian shirts. I actually think that's quite good. Can't go wrong with a denim shirt. Cut off? I mean, nothing says Americana more than a Tommy Hilfiger. I like. I do feel like whatever I pick, Brandon might just smile and say it's okay. That is not the aim of this game. I am gonna find something amazing. I mean, 10 pounds for a denim shirt. No fast fashion, all being reused. This is what we like. No. Here we go, trousers. I'm thinking something a bit like kind of how I'm wearing. A little wider on the leg, less of the skinny jeans, and something which I think is just more of that sort of 50s, sort of James Dean look, I think would work really well for him. Praise the Lord, we have our size. Nice. I did say we'd do a, a rogue choice. And I think that is a rogue choice. Onwards. If you like vintage shopping and you're enjoying this section, then be sure to subscribe and also like and comment. Tell me, do you like this? Okay, so I have a few outfits for you. We're gonna see what happens. There's a few rogue choices, as I said, there might mm -hmm. be. So the first one, I'm gonna go classic. Okay. I'm gonna give you these. Thanks. And pop that over the top. Cheers. In you go, sir. Oh. I like. I feel like a bit of a baseball ball. You uh, do. Player. This is a good colour on you. Well <laughs> done, Robin. Let's go out to the mirror here and I'm going to take a few more things out. Yeah. I like this on you. No, yeah, I yeah. like it too. It's got a good cut to it. Yeah. I know you wanted kind of like classic, sort of, but I feel like this is gets into that sort of Americana vibe. Yeah, definitely. I feel like it's a, a relaxed outfit, which uh, I feel comfortable in. The t-shirt fits really well. Not print, maybe the print I'd normally go for, yeah. but um, like I mentioned, like the cut's ma the main thing for me. Yeah. Uh, and especially the jeans, I really like them. I mean, I'm not wild on a sort of printed logo sort mm. of t-shirt, but I still think, you know, this is young, but it still yeah. feels like it's sort of trendy. I love this shirt on you, but let's just try. I'm thinking in this first style, we're just being very casual. Yeah. This is rogue and might be too small. So, swap shirts. Cool. cool. Is that a little small? Maybe a slight, slight touch too small on the sleeves, probably roll them down actually. Yeah. It's a nice coloring on you. No, yeah, I think the red works well actually, especially with these jeans. It's I think it's really nice. Nicely. Show the people at home, please. Look at this. <laughs> like, do we like, do we like, do we like, yeah. Yeah, I'd say I prefer this potentially to the uh, the first shirt, just because I'm not used to wearing too much plaid myself normally. Yeah, um, yeah I quite like the colour block this on it. It's something nice. a little bit different, a bit more unique. This is this is fifteen pounds, so it's like okay. you're not going to go wrong. And I feel like if it's a good look, and especially like spring summer, just taking those sleeves up, it just means you are creating a look yourself. Absolutely. I really like this. Let's try one more shirt. Tommy Hilfiger, very Americana. Mm. Do you know what? I think the quality is really nice on it, but it sort of reminds me of a bit of a shirt that my dad might wear. Yeah. Maybe in uh, 10 years time, I can see myself wearing this. 10 years, okay. That would be yeah. my age. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years then. 20 years. Good save, just about. <laughs> Do you want another look? Yeah, go for it. Let's go back through. So. Okay. Mm. Do you know what? I really like the jeans. I was just thinking if these jeans had the cut of the last one, they'd, yeah. be, they'd be a winner, definitely. Do something for me, go back in, mm -hmm. take the t-shirt off and just go with the shirt and then tuck it. Yeah, yeah. no worries. Hi, okay. Feel very summery. Very summery. Yeah. Let's go to the mirror. Okay, the shirt is Calvin Klein. Mm. And I quite like this on you. No, yeah. The jeans, Levi's, maybe not perfect. No, I really like the shirt, you know. Um, it's just got a nice feel to it. It almost reminds me of, um, there's this old photo of actually, um, Harrison Ford sitting okay. on some steps. It's, it looks like one of those sort of fits, actually. It's a really nice shirt on you. It and is, actually, yeah. I like that sort of collar that is just slightly more sort of open. Yeah. It's sitting really nicely. The jeans, I thought when we picked this, could be a little rogue, but actually, you are making them work. It's probably more testament <laughs> to you than to me. Um, they are a little short, unfortunately. But I, I really like that shirt on you. No, yeah. Okay, let's try another one. Thank you. Okay. A man for himself, top tip of vintage shopping, have patience, have patience and just keep looking. Some of the best things are hidden behind other things, aren't they? Let's see ya. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hello. I'll have two margaritas and a, <laughs> I like this. Come on, let's go out. I like this. I'm liking all these blues on you and I really like the cut of these trousers. Yeah, the trousers fit really well and I think Blue is normally a colour that I'd sort of like lean towards. It definitely, uh, 
I'd say it's more of a colour that suits me usually, yes. Yeah, you look good. How do you feel in it? Do you know what? The trousers are super comfy. Uh, I don't think they could fit much better, to be honest. No. Um, not used to having the shirt so boxy, but I think it works in this outfit. I definitely think it does. And actually, you could even just mm. go a step further. I mean, let's see the price on this again. This is this is ten pounds. So yeah, again, I had wrong. a Hawaiian shirt that I had. It was probably about this sort of size of me, mm. and I absolutely loved it. And I got so much wear out of it. And actually, having it slightly bigger means you can just take it in slightly. Yeah, absolutely. It's good. So, do you have a favourite look? I definitely have um, favourite items. Absolutely. Okay, you've got a favourite one. Yeah. So, if you've got a favourite look, comment. You can place a little bet because. Mm. You're not going to tell them, but we are going to see the look at the end. Thanks. Bye-bye. And to finish Brandon's restyle, it's on to fragrance. So I have picked out three fragrances that I think you're going to love. Thinking about kind of like what you do for a living as a pharmacist in a hospital, I thought I didn't want anything that was too much like out there and maybe something that was more intimate mm. against your skin. So the three I've picked are more of these like sort of skin scents. Okay. So beautiful, soft fragrances that will sit so well against your skin and that will also perform. So the first one I have for you, this is Molecule. Do you know Molecule? Uh, I don't believe I've heard of them, no. So Molecule is a brand which uh, their, first, their first fragrance that they created uh, was just based upon one molecule, Iso E Super, mm. which essentially is almost like a sort of cedarwood note. So real warmth, um, quite sort of primal, like it just smells so great on the skin. It was said that when this was first created, people would sort of smell different things about how it reacted with the skin. They've done these ones where they've got the molecule one plus another molecule, and this one is patchouli. Okay. So they've had molecule one plus mandarin, they've had one with iris, which I think is gorgeous, and then they've got this patchouli one. There you are. Thank you. Oh yeah, I really like that. It's got a bit of um, it's quite spicy, which I do enjoy mm. actually. But it's nothing too like, as mentioned, that it's nothing too powerful. I can yeah. see it sitting nicely on the skin. I think what's good about this is patchouli has mm. this sort of earthy woodiness, so yeah. it feels like quietly confident. Yeah, it's definitely got that sort of um, slightly like masculinity towards it. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Mm. I should also say with, with these molecule fragrances, these are really great for layering. Mm. So if you have, you mentioned like the citrus is there, if you have a favorite citrus, then actually layering it with something like this is gonna give you all that warmth, touch of that earthiness, and then with this sort of citrus pop. The second one I have is by a brand called Austin's. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of Austin's? No, I've not heard of no. them either. So I hadn't heard of Austin's until oh. last year. But Austin's are a brand that really, again, much like Molecule, focus on one pure ingredient. Mm. And from there, they then create these beautiful fragrances. This one is Impression Cashmeran Velvet. So it's using that cashmeran note. What this has been likened to is like the love child of Le Labo Santal 32 plus that molecule. So you've got that same sort of cocooning mm. warmth, the familiarity. No, yeah, I'm definitely getting that, you know. Um, I, I still see sort of the spiciness, maybe toned down a little bit from the first yeah. one, but I'm getting that like um, almost like freshness, that zestiness that yeah. I really enjoy as well, just in the background. There's, I, I think of this as mm. it's almost like a really great cotton, um, like towel that you've had in the yeah, uh, in the really ta in the tumble dryer, you've got that sort of like the fluff that's coming off it. Mm. It's it's so clean, it's so warm. No, yeah, I, I'd say so far that might be that yeah might be winning. Yeah, okay. Mm. And the final one is Mado, mm -hmm. and this is Cedar Noir. Now, these fragrances are made in England. They've also just celebrated their first birthday. They had an original one, which was beautiful, and then they had three new releases. But I think this one could be a bit of you. Mm. There you are. Thank you. Mm, I like that. Yeah? I get that um, very woody. Mm. I mean, like almost a different way to what you'd normally get from a, yeah. an aftershave or perfume. The reason I've selected this one and the reason why this fits into this selection of three is that this has that same familiarity, it's got that same warmth, it's very much like pheromone inducing, you know? Mm. It's so great on the skin, there's a sensuality, it's quite sexy, but it's really warm. Yeah, it takes me to, like, 
reminds me of almost going on like a nice walk in fresh air in like yeah, I love that. a forest almost it's just that really yeah. nice fresh natural smell mm. Mm. it's almost like you're kind of seeing the sunlight sort of coming through the trees yeah. and you kind of got the warmth on your skin mm. this actually has a citrus note on the top so there is just a touch just the tiniest bit of citrus but really we are more into that heart of cedar wood this kayak wood and then there's an amber base so with amber i always just think it's just going to give you something which just gives you a little bit more longevity on the skin yeah absolutely no, that's really nice. Super fresh, super like natural smelling as well. No, I, mm. I really enjoyed that one too. They're all absolutely lovely. Okay, so is is there one of those that you quite like? Um, I'm generally torn. Uh, yeah. I, I like all three. I could definitely wear any one of them. I'd, I'd probably maybe say two or one. Okay, so one or two. So number one was Molecular One uh -huh. plus Patchouli. So let's do a little left wrist number on her. And then we'll do a little swap and that's the Austins. Cashmaran. And I should say all of these fragrances, plus the skincare that you saw before, will be linked in the description below. So the time has come for the reveal. Any guesses on the outfit? Or maybe even the fragrance? Brandon? Yep. Are you almost ready? Almost. I'll just be one more second. We'll give him one more second. I think I know what he's going to go for. I mean, I kind of know. Ish. Did you get it right? I'm sure you've commented. Ready? Yep, ready. Okay, let's go for it. Very good. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel good, yeah. I feel uh, very summery, but um, yeah, I think everything fits perfect and they all just complement each other. Yeah. Really well. And look at the hair, look at the skin. Yeah, glowing. Glowing. <laughs> what about the fragrance? I think I can smell it from here. Yep, so I went with the, the second one in the end. The Austins. Austins yeah. Very yeah. good choice. That is mm. one of my favorites. You look very good. Thank you very so much. So well put together. I love the hair. <laughs> yeah, and you must be feeling good. No, I feel great. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been incredible. Yeah. Well, come come and have a seat. Have you had a good day? Oh yeah, I've had an amazing day. Thank you so much, Robin. It's a it's been a surreal experience. You're so welcome. It's been a long one, but a very good one. And you do you look incredible. Thank you so much. No, I, I wouldn't have looked this good without your help. You are most welcome. And the whole point of this is to feel good. So from your hair to the skincare, again, that beauty pie code is in the description. MFH sent me uh, to the look, which I absolutely love and the fragrance. So I have everything here. You do not go home empty handed. All the bits from Murdoch. Thank you. And all those tips from Ben. Also, all the six products from Beauty Pie. I've also put in two extras there that I absolutely love. There's an oxygen serum, which is really great for brightening. That's amazing. And I know you picked an outfit, but I really liked most things that you put on. So Oh. I've got some other things. I thought we'll do the Hawaiian shirt. There's also, you don't need the receipt. I'll put that there. Um, also, there is the denim that we kind of weren't sure about. Oh, yeah. It's there. Um, and the chinos. I know you quite like those. So mm. they are all in there. And I want you to enjoy those. So thank you very much for being involved. You have been great. And I'd love you to keep in touch and send us pictures and show us how you're getting on. Absolutely. Thank you so much again. From the bottom of my heart. You are most welcome. And thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, maybe you know what's coming up, and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe. The button will be over this way if you point this way, yeah. <laughs> There's also more video suggestions under there. Uh, more restyle videos will be up there. Um, and more videos, yeah, all up there. But until my next new video, bye-bye. Bye-bye.